In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to import audio into Audacity. All right guys, so let's take a look at how to import audio into Audacity. So I'm going to actually go to our desktop. I'm sharing, or I'm doing a dual screen here, so you can't see my desktop, but I'll just pull this over. And you can see we're gonna open up that voice test Audacity project that we made in the last video, double click and open that up. It should just be a blank one that says voice test and there it is. So we're gonna import some audio. So for this example, I'm going to import um, two different files. One is going to be a voice file that I, uh, that I recently edited and then I'm also going to import a music track so you can see how that works. So first things first, I'm gonna go to up here to file, import audio as you can see, it shows the quick key here is uh, shift apple I or shift control I if you're on a PC. So hit that. And I'm going to navigate to this voice file here. And this is what I want to import. This is um, the dialogue that I, that I edited. So I'm going to go ahead and open that, hit open. And it brings up this window here. It's a warning that says, basically it is telling you that if you were to choose to make a copy of the file, it's safer because um, if you manipulate anything with the audio file and save over it, you won't um, overwrite it if you have that copy. Um, but it is faster if you read directly from the original file. But if that original file moves, then it won't be able to be located. So it's just safer to do it this way with uh, making the copy. And if you don't wanna see this every single time, you can check this box. I'm gonna leave it unchecked just for the purposes of um, these educational videos so that people can see it in future videos as well. So I'll go ahead and make a copy, hit OK, and it imports just like that. So now we have our testing WAV file. See, it shows um, shows the name up here, and you can change the gain, so the volume of the uh, of the audio file here. And you can also ch change how you want it to pan. If you want to pan it left, right, or keep it center, you can do that there. And there's also a menu, this little drop down menu that you can do, and you can change the different ways that you see the waveform. Um, you can also change the, the format of the audio file and the sample rate. And if you wanted to change the name, you could do that right here. You click name, and I'll say voice test hit okay and see that changed that right there so um, if you make any changes that you want to undo you can just go to edit undo or hit command z or control z if you're on a pc and that'll change it back all right so this yellow border around the file will show uh, which track you have selected and what you're uh, making changes to so if you were to have another track in here um, you know whatever whatever one has the border around it and is highlighted is the one that you're making changes to and have selected. So, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and import another one and this is gonna be the music file. We have file, import audio. I'm gonna bring in this MP3 music file and hit open. Here we go. So that's our um, stereo music file here. And then you have the same controls as you can see, it just has two channels since it's stereo instead of mono. But everything else is exactly the same. We can make changes to the name here if we want, or we can change the volume, panning, and uh, any of the formats, sample rate, anything like that. So as you can see, I have this one selected and that's why this yellow highlighted border has showed up. And if I click up here, then that uh, that changes so you can see which one you're focused on here. So you can also adjust the height of this if you want um, just by hovering over the bottom or the top of the track and you can adjust um, the height for each one. So um, if you want to rearrange how these are ordered, you can go to this menu and say move track up and I'll just pop it uh, one track up or move track down. That'll bring it back down. Um, if you have more than a couple tracks, you can use these move track to top and move track to bottom. You can also do things right here, um, like split the stereo track into uh, mono tracks. 
So we'll just leave this as it is right now, but uh, that way you can see, you can go ahead and just have like your voice file on a music track underneath it and just um, edit it how you want. All right, and so if we want to get rid of a track, we would just hit the close icon here, just this X button, uh, which is also shift C. Just go ahead and close that and that closes. And like I said, with anything, if you want to undo, you just go to edit, undo, and it pops back up. But I want to go ahead and close this out and I want to save our project as testing one, two, three. And I'll just save this project to the desktop, hit save. All right, so if we close out of Audacity, just quit out of it, we can see that our new project uh, populated here in our desktop where we saved it, and we can double click to open it, and it should pop up with the file that we imported, and there it is. All right, so that is how you import audio into Audacity. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.